We are just one day away from the Vermont Catamounts first round game in the NCAA tournament. Vermont's going to take on the Purdue Boilermakers. The game will tip off at 727 tomorrow night. Let's head to Milwaukee and catch up with a familiar face to NBC5 viewers. Stephen Watson is with our Hearst station WISN now. He was there today when the Catamounts got ready for the game. Stephen, this must be pretty exciting for you and a little bit of deja vu as well. Yeah, you could certainly say that uh, everything's coming full circle out here in Milwaukee. Great to hear from both of you. Hope you are well. As everybody back at the NBC5 team, hope all of you are doing well as we are getting set for an exciting weekend here in Milwaukee. The Catamounts, one of eight teams that are playing out here, and they beat the storm out east to get here in time so they could have a couple of extra days to practice, and they've really been taking in everything that Milwaukee has to offer. You think about yesterday, they practiced at Marquette's campus just downtown here in Milwaukee, and then earlier today, they were at the Bucks practice facility, and they got an opportunity to, to play on some of the the NBA stars home and they'll be playing inside of the Bradley Center behind me where the Bucks call home as well. And you know, this team is going to be a little bit different of a field than Patrick Jim, the 7,000 that fill up that venue. This holds about 20,000 inside. So John Becker's trying to make sure that everything is calm, cool and collected for this group. And they're not trying to make anything too big. And they've been taking it all in. Anytime you get to the NCAA tournament, you know, you really have to balance, um, obviously, doing the work needed to try to win the game, but also enjoying the experience. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know. You don't, it's not too often that you go to school on the East Coast and you get to play in the NCAA tournament in Milwaukee. You know, the Bucks are who I grew up watching. I'm a diehard fan, so I'm just really happy to be here. And for Cam Ward, he's born from Marshall, Wisconsin, about 50 miles west of here. He said his small town of about 2,000 people. He's hoping all those fans are going to come here and fill up the Bradley Center when the Catamounts take on Purdue tomorrow night. Because Purdue, Big Ten team, about five hours away from here in Milwaukee. They're expected to travel very well. We'll see how the Catamounts do. Maybe they can be that Cinderella story of this March. Live in Milwaukee, Stephen Watson, NBC5 News.